great country that we call Kenya. God bless Kenya. God bless you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Asante sana, Mwishimiwa uh, Pasaris. Asante sana. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the maturity you show in your politics. Pamoja na Jalas, kuna wale wanafikiri bado tuko kwa siyasa. Siyasa ilisha. Rais ni mmoja. Governor ni mmoja. Wanainchi ni hawa na ni wetu, tunawafanya kazi. Sini kweli? Mwishimiwa pia tuko na mwishimiwa Ronald Karauri. Kutoka kasarani ni huyo wacha apunge wanainchi hewa. E, mkono, radha. Tuko na mwishimiwa Meja Donk kutoka... Embakasi Central ambaye pia kuna sisi nimeona baba yao waititu ambaye pia ni mtu wa Kibra Tumekuwa naye na pia Saimo Simon Mbugwa ambaye alikuwa mbunge wa Starehe Your Excellency bila kupoteza wakati um, na kama kuna wale nimesahau poleni Nani Oh ulikuwa umemtaja tuko na mheshimiwa Mwalimu Orero kutoka hapa Kibra Jalasu ulikuwa umem, umemtaja Tuko na mariga Ambaya kwa hapa Asante sana Mwishimu rais Wanainchi Sote tuko hapa na tuko pamoja Allow me to mention just two, three things that are very important to these people. Your Excellency Jambu la Kwanza, Asante kwa kufikiria mambo ya hathi, dignity ya mwanainchi wa kawaida. Na Your Excellency umetuonesha njia. Hawa wanainchi ndo walitumusuru. Hawa ndo walibaki na sisi. Na sisi tumesema hatuta wasahau. Wanainchi wa kawaida wa Nairobi na wa Kenya. Na mimi nawahimiza wale pia kwa serikali ya county kwa kila kitu ambao tunafanya tufikirie hawa wananchi wa kawaida kila siku. Yule mwananchi ambaye amekaa kwa kitongoji, ambaye amekaa kwa slum, he is as Kenyan as yule mwananchi ambaye yako Lavington, ambaye yako Karen. Lazima tumfikirie mwananchi wa kawaida. Na excellency uende umetuonesha kwa mfano wako na kwa mtindo wako. And for that reason, Your Excellency, kwa project kama hii, Ochanda, Ochanda tulieni. E, Ochanda ni memuona, tunamjua. E, tulieni. Ah, vijana tunawajua wote, Your Excellency. Ni vijana wako? Na wana kupenda. Your Excellency, tumesema kama county government, siku za mwanainchi wa kawaida kudharauliwa Nairobi zimeisha. Na tulisema ya kwamba kwa mipango yetu yote kutoka housing ambapo tumesupport kwa mfano hapa niliandikia PS tare kuminatisa alikuwa meniandikia kutoa approval ya hii kazi yanze without all of those technical uh, steps. Pia ile restriction ya kuenda juu wanasema uspite one, a certain height tumetoa hiyo approval na pia waweze kuanza kazi kabla ya kuupload title deed ambayo tunatafuta tumetoa hizo approval. But tumesema ya kwamba kwa mfano Jana na juzi tumekuwa tukengelea budget ya Nairobi County Your Excellency niliona walikuwa wamenekea 500 million shillings Atukujenga nyumba ya governor na deputy governor Ni mambeo watuwe yu pesa Tujengea watu masoko Tujengea wanainchi wa Nairobi Mali ya kufanya kazi Kwa sababu hapo Hapo ndiyo watu wetu wako Simiku na mali naishi tayari Sasa jameni nusu bilioni Kutengia governor nyumba Akina mama hawa wanaangaika Vijana wetu wanaangaika Hawana kazi So nimeleza watu wangu kwa county Na najua pia kwa national government Wamejua focus yetu Iko kwa mwanainche wa kawaida Tuangalia mwanainche wa kawaida kwanza Sisi tuwa jipanga ukumbele Sini kweli Jambo la pili na nimekubalena na mwishimiwa eh, Jalas Mwishimiwa Jalas ambaye ni ndugu yangu sana Na tulikuwa wasani pamoja Tumesema ya kwamba Ile Tivet Your Excellency ambayo Ilikuwa inendelea ine, ine hapo madaraka Na wendo ulizindua Tuimalize Ili vijana wetu wezi kupata training hapo ndani kwa Tivet 
na najua watu wa mbili tatu tivet itakuwa imeisha on top of that kuna vocational center ambayo tumeaud hapa hapa airas na mheshimiwa wetu uyugi amesukuma nimekisha imekuwa awarded ili vijana wetu tusome tusikae mtaani tu tunataka kutoka kwa dimanga hiyo dimanga utatoka bila kulambuku bana sawa sawa tukiwafungulia tivet tukiwafungulia hii vocational training go there get educated hata kama ni studio ya mtaa enda hapo ujaribu usani yako ukikaa tu mtaani ungoje jalas ama mwalimu orero akupatie za macho ama mariga hatutaenda mahali sawa sawa so excellency nimefurahi kwamba tumesema hata ile kazi itafanywa hapa na nimefurahi huyu contractor wetu ambaye anaitwa Gelot yeye pia ndo alifanya hii high rise ya kitambo hii yeye ndo alifanya vijana wa hapa wafanye kazi wa mama wa hapa wafanye kazi wapatiwe nafasi katika mpango huo excellency nikimalizia tumesema ya kwamba na nimesikia shiro anasema ati watu wasilipe rates tafadhali wananchi wangu hii rates lazima tulipe ili niwafanyie kazi ili niwaletee maji ili tuwajengee manyumba ili niwatengenezee mabarabara lazima tulipe rates na hiyo rates tumesema Nairobi hii na nimefurahi hiyo excellence ulinisaidia tukazungumza na chief justice amenisaidia ku set up valuation court jukuna new valuation rule rates Nairobi watu watakuwa nalipa mwezi kwa mwezi monthly instead of kulipa ati mwaka moja pesa mingi tulipe pole pole mzee kibaki alikuwa anatuambia kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea sawa sawa ili tujenge mji wetu wa Nairobi thank you very much uh, your excellency um gani nyingine kazi mtaani <laughs> your excellency wakati wakati ambapo tulikuwa na kazi mtaani i can tell you for sure your excellency the crime rate in langata and kibra went down by 47% ilishuka na asilimia 47 na kuomba na nimeona mheshimiwa Hinga PS Hinga ndo alikuwa brain child na alifanya na wewe hii kazi mtaani tukishirikiana county government na serikali yako let us give our people hope tuwapatie nafasi vijana wetu wafanye hiyo kazi na kina mama walikuwa wanapika hiyo kazi ilikuwa inaendelea mzuri mimi kama governor nimesema tutaandika vijana wetu waingie kanjo ili kusaidia na mambo ya usafi so mtulie mtulie hao MCAs wako hapa walipitishie budget ninaandika kila ward vijana ambao watafanya kazi na pia tuwa partner na hiyo mambo ya kazi mtaani your excellency thank you so much um, for, 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 for the support that you have given us finally wale artisans wanafanya kazi tutawapatia zile tools tunaita common user facility ili unakuja hapo unapiga randa yako unakamoe ni seremano unafanya kazi na usiku unapata kitu ya kupeleka nyumbani thank you so much your excellency for this allow me at this stage um, to invite the cabinet secretary um, uh, and actually actually before the ps your excellency i forgot to recognize our, our good friend the former member of parliament for Langata Nixon Korir ambaye anaitwa generali ambaye yeye pia anafanya kazi for now yeye ni deputy mp assistant wa jalas wanafanya pamoja lakini your excellency na kuomba kwa niaba ya watu wa Nairobi najua hujamaliza kuunda serikali angalia huyo Nixon vizuri pia asonge songe aingie kwa serikali yako asante sana Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Before I speak, let me invite uh, Tom Moloa who was the chairman or who is the chairman of the task force which was looking at affordable housing. He is actually one of the key people in the pension space. Uh, Tom Moloa, please karibu. Your Excellency the president dr 
William Samoe Ruto, the President of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief, our Cabinet Secretary is present, the Governor, our protocols observed. Bwana Rais, Kenya sisi tunajulikana sana kwa mambo mengi duniani. Tunajulikana kwa mbio, tunajulikana kwa ukarimu, tunajulikana sana kwa Mpesa. Lakini hii muradi ya affordable housing bwana Rais ndio mambo yote. Your Excellency, tunajua ya kwamba si tu nyumba Hii ndiyo ile muradi itabadilisha maisha kabisa kwa sababu inaleta employment kwa watu wote wa Kenya hii. Rais wewe ulitoa ufisadi wako ukatushahidi ukatushahudi wale wafanyabiashara wa machama, wa sako, wa pension, wa insurance tuache kuomba pesa kwa sababu hapa Kenya tuko na pesa. Sisi wenyewe mama mboga na maasla wote tuko na pesa kwa chama zetu tumeweka pesa kwa pension yetu tutaweka pesa kwa asla fund na sisi wafanyabiashara tukasema tutamsupport rais kwa sababu serikali imesema itatu, itatupatia hadhi alafu wale wawekeshaji pension insurance sisi tutaleta pesa kusaidia serikali kujenga hii nyumba alafu hizo nyumba sita mtapata hizo nyumba mtalipa re, rent to own baada ya miaka kidogo nyumba inakuwa yako hiyo pesa yote tunasanya wenyewe kama wa Kenya kwa ile spirit ya RMB na pension scheme na chama tuna tume, tumeamua ya kwamba kuanzia mwaka hii bwana rais tunaanza na bilioni tano. kuanza kujenga nyumba ndio wa Kenya wetu wapate nyumba ya kufaa kabisa bwana rais tunajua ya kwamba bwana rais tukiendelea na hiyo mwito Kenya itabadilika kabisa na tutakuwa tumeshtoa shining star ulimwengu mzima Tuna, thank you very much your excellency i hold you that to say we commit to support your government from the insurance sector from the pension sector to make sure that we get housing and we live in dignity asante sana bwana rais Uh, Your Excellency, uh, because of time, because of the work sana, uh, we shall proceed with the program. But let me say this, even as we wait for the President to come. One of the key advantages we have in this country is that now we have political will at highest level in terms of the president leading the way na kirudi hapa nitarudia nitarudia tena nisema hivi in the last one month duguzatu the president has been to three different projects for for housing kama governor alisema tulikuwa kule eh, mukoro harafu juzi tukaenda rogai kule kajiado and what is important dugu zetu na dada zetu ni kwamba mahali rais anaenda he carries the entire leadership with him because ukiangalia hapa sasa mwesikia Tom Mulu ameongea yeye mkuu wa pensions kuna wa bank wako hapa bankers are here you had KCB mkiangalia kuna developers who are here investors so what is important is to know tukieta bele hakuna mahali itaachwa nyuma wajua excellency nilikuwa nasema ili ya muhimu nirudia tena what you brought to us in this country is leadership in terms of supporting areas which you never have developed wajua tulijaribu miaka 10 iliyopita hii mambo ya housing 
lakini what was required is political will ukieleka jiado governor ako hapa ako huko ukiangalia governor wa Nairobi ako hapa ukiangalia women rep ako hapa lakini kwa sababu rais ako hapa kila mtu ako hapa ukiangalia kama mabanki yote iko hapa ma pension funds so nafiki excellence tukilele tukidela namna hii sasa na biwa kutoka hapa utaenda na kuru alafu wende mahali pengine i think within a short time this country will be the largest slum in africa in the world it is kibera sasa kwa sababu hii muradi anala 2 years hiyo itakuwa ni story it will be a story behind us kwa hiyo rais kwa sababu ya masaa ni kushukuru kwa kuja na ningeomba tu simame si zote tumkabishie rais wetu wa kenya asante sana Asante sana bwana Masharia. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Viongozi wote wenzangu na wananchi wa hapa Kibra pamoja na Langata Hamjambo. Kibira Hamjambo. Langata Hoye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asanteni sana. Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni washukuru ninyi nyote kwa kupata nafasi ili tuweze tuje siku ya leo hapa tuweze kupanga haya mambo ya ujenzi wa manyumba yenu katika sehemu hii ya Kibra kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni washukuru sana ni washukuru watu wa Langata na ni washukuru watu wa Nairobi kwa kunipatia nafasi niwe kiongozi wa taifa letu la Kenya. Mimi nawashukuru sana na nawapongeza sana. Na mimi nataka niwaahidi ya kwamba hiyo kazi mmenipatia nitafanya na bidii sana. Mimi nawashukuru sana na nawapongeza sana na mimi nataka niwaahidi ya kwamba hiyo kazi mmenipatia nitafanya na bidii sana na mimi sitawaangusha tunaelewana jambo la pili wakati nilikuja hapa langata katika uwanja huu niliwaambia ya kwamba nitarudi hapa kwa mapenzi ya Mungu chini ya siku mia moja kuanzisha hii mradi ya ujenzi wa manyumba katika hii Kibera Soweto B leo nimekuja hapa kutimiza hiyo ahadi na mimi nataka niwahakikishie ndani ya miaka mbili na nusu nitarudi hapa tena ili niwakabidhi manyumba zenu wale watu mnaishi hapa nyinyi mnaelewa ya kwamba pale mbeleni tulikuwa na slum upgrading lakini shida iliyokuwa na hiyo slum upgrading pale nyuma ilikuwa ni kwamba wale wanaishi pale wakiondoka wanaenda wakiendanga hawarudi tena kwa sababu watu wengine walikuwa wanatafutwa waje waishi kwa manyumba ile imejengwa na wale ambao walikuwa naishi hapo wanapotea hii mpango mpya vile mama wetu hapa Shiro amesema wale mlikuwa mnaishi hapa nyinyi ndio mtakuwa watu wa kwanza kurudi hapa kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani kwenu na mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile vile leo tumekuja hapa kuanzisha manyumba 
1400 ambazo itakuwa ni manyumba zenu na tutajenga mbali na manyumba zenu pale mlikuwa na manyumba hapa ilikuwa ni nyumba haina choo haina taa haina maji haina sewage haina barabara haina mambo yote si ni kweli hii mtaa mpya ambayo tunawajengea itakuwa na barabara itakuwa na parking itakuwa na elimu ama shule ya watoto wenu itakuwa na hospitali itakuwa na soko mahali mtafanya biashara zenu na manyumba yenu itakuwa na vifaa zote mtakuwa na choo pale mtakuwa na maji kutakuwa na stima na tutahakikisha kwamba hii kibra ambayo ilijulikana kama slum kubwa katika Afrika itakuwa the largest real estate in Kenya Nyinyi mnanielewa Niliwaambia wakati nilisimama hapa Niliwaambia hizi manyumba tutawajengea itakuwa ni nyumba zenu Jambo la kwanza jambo la pili Niliwaeleza ya kwamba ni nyinyi mtakayokuja kuishi hapa na jambo la tatu niliwaambia ile shilingi 2000 na, na miatano unalipa kwa ile nyumba ya mabati ama ya matope utakuja kulipa hiyo 2000 na miatano kwa ile nyumba tutakujengea hapa <coughs> yenye mnanielewa ile pesa ile pesa ulikuwa unalipa kwa nyumba ile ya matope ama ya mabati nyumba haina maji haina choo haina stima sasa utakuja kuishi katika nyumba iko na hiyo mambo yote na utalipa ile pesa ulikuwa unalipa pale tofauti tena tofauti tena wewe ulikuwa unalipa 2500 na hiyo nyumba ni ya mwenyewe. Hakuna siku hiyo nyumba itakuwa yako. Lakini leo hii nyumba tunawajengea hapa. Utalipa 2500 na baada ya miaka 20 nyumba hiyo inakuwa yako. Naendesha nyumba yako. <coughs> Yenye mnanielewa? Na mimi nasimama hapa. Kuambia watu wa Nairobi ya kwamba leo tunaanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba hapa Kibra Soweto B Mimi nataka nimwambie waziri pamoja na permanent secretary ya kwamba waanze kupanga mambo ya Soweto C kwa sababu chini chini ya mwaka mmoja Nitarudi hapa tena ili tuweze kuanzisha ujenzi wa langata B, langata C ikifuatwa na langata D ndio tufunge mambo ya Islam hapa Kibera. Tumekubaliana watu wa langata? Watu wa Kibera tumekubaliana? Hiyo ndio mpango nilikuwa nimewaambia ya housing na hii mpango ilikuwa katika mipango yetu for the last five years lakini the last five years tumejenga nyumba elfu mbili peke yake mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa Nairobi na watu wa Kenya ya kwamba kabla ya mwaka mmoja in the next one year tutakuwa tumeanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba elfu mbili katika taifa letu la Kenya because this is a project that cannot wait the rate of our urbanization is at approximately 4.4% it means 500,000 people every year move to our urban areas and because we have not developed enough infrastructure many of our dwellers in our cities and towns and townships majority of them almost 
live in slums because we have not been able to plan appropriately. We construct about 50,000 uh, 50, houses every year. Out of that 50,000 houses, only 2%, about 1,000, are affordable for the majority of Kenyans. They, are, they fall in the category of affordable housing. And that is why we are making it a deliberate program to build 50% of all our housing must be in the category of social and low-cost housing so that we can pay attention to the majority of Kenyans who live in our slum areas. Na sababu hiyo, tumesema ya kwamba tutaongeza nyumba tutakazo jenga kila mwaka ifike elfu miambili kwa sababu tayari tuko na upunguvu wa manyumba milioni mbili Kenya ya wananchi kuishi. We already have a shortage of two million houses and every year we are supposed to cater for another 250,000. So it is important as a country that we focus in this area so that we can give the people of our country dignity. They can live in areas that are dignified and they can fend for themselves and they can bring up their families in environments that are of good quality and in environments that are in tandem with the provision of our constitution. Kwa hivyo, mimi nataka ni wakikishie ya kwamba hiyo barabara tutatembea pamoja ndani ya wiki mbili nitaenda pale makongeni kuanzisha nyumba elfu ishirini na tano zingine za locust housing. Na hapa Nairobi nimesema ya kwamba tuko na ekari karibu elfu tatu ambazo tunaweza kuzitumia katika mambo program hii ya affordable housing. So in Nairobi alone, focusing on 3,000 acres, we should be able to build half a million houses in the city of Nairobi. And I want to ask all the stakeholders in this field, from the ministry responsible to the developers, to the financiers, and to the off-takers, that we work together and we are going to provide the necessary leadership so that we can change the status of our city and change the status of our country. Tunaelewana jameni? Hapa wakati mambo ya ujenzi itaendelea tutakuwa na wafanyi kazi karibu 2500 watakaofanya kazi katika huu mpango. Vile vile tutakuwa na biashara. Mumesikia tumekubaliana na contractor ya kwamba yeye atafanya 60% ya kazi. 40% ya biashara itafanywa na wafanyi biashara wengine wadogo wadogo hawa. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba milango yote karibu 1800 itatengenezwa na mahasla wa hapa. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba madirisha yote karibu pia elfu 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 kumi na tano madirisha elfu kumi na tano itatengenezwa na vijana wenu wa hapa langata vijana wale wanafanya kazi pale ngong road wale wanafanya kazi kariobangi tutawaunganisha wote ili wafanye hiyo kazi na walipwe hiyo pesa tumesema pesa milioni mia tano na hamsini itaenda kwa hawa wafanyabiashara wadogo wadogo hawa tunaelewana na tunaweka mkataba tunaweka contract ya kwamba hiyo kazi itafanyika kwa mpango huo so that we make sure that we have the local content of this contract so that ordinary small beneficiaries and other stakeholders the the, the juakali sector na tumekubaliana ya kwamba PC Kinyanjui watatusaidia kwa sababu serikali tayari tumenunua equipment ya karibu bilioni 30 na tumeweka katika all these technical and vocational training centers 
tunataka hiyo equipment itumike kusaidia watu wa juakali kutengeneza hiyo milango kutengeneza haya madirisha na kutengeneza ile eh, kwota naitwa nini Yes hiyo maneno mmeweka hapo inaitwa um, quadrants quadrants zote tunahitaji quadrants elfu mia moja na ishirini za ndani na za nje hizo zote zitatengenezwa tukitumia machine ambazo tumenunua tayari iko katika tibet zetu na watu wa jua kali mtashirikiana na tibet zetu ili mkubaliane hiyo biashara itaendeshwa namna gani Wase mmesikia? Mmenielewa? So, mimi nataka tukubaliane kwa njia hiyo. Na vile vile nimesema ya kwamba mimi nilikuja kuanzisha eh, hii Langata Technical Training College hapa Madaraka. Sini kweli? Na tumekubaliana na mbunge wenu wa sasa ya kwamba hiyo mpango lazima tuikamilishe. Na pia tuhakikisha kwamba kuna equipment ili vijana wa kutoka hapa Langata na hata wale wa kibra tuwapange na ujuzi na mambo ya kuelewa ya kwamba hiyo kazi itafanywa kwa njia gani but meanwhile tumekubaliana na NCA pamoja na eh, NITA ya kwamba watakuja ili kuwapatia certification wale vijana ambao watafanya kazi hapa mafundi hata kama wewe huna makaratasi hiyo makaratasi tutahakikisha ya kwamba umepata Nini mnanielewa? Tuko na mpango ambayo tunasema inaitwa recognition of prior learning. Kuna watu wengi mafundi hawajaenda shule lakini wako na skill ya ufundi. Si ni kweli? Na tumesema hakuna haja ya kupeleka mtu ambaye anaelewa kazi shuleni tena. Fanyia yeye mtihani, patia yeye kartasi, aendelee na kufanya kazi. <laughs> Tumekubaliana. <clears throat> so mimi nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi watu wa Langata. Na mimi nimekuja hapa makusudi kwa sababu we want to make this program a reality and we want every Kenyan to own a decent home in the Republic of Kenya. Nishawauliza magavana wengine wa taifa letu la Kenya katika miji yetu yote waanze kupanga ardhi mahali tutafanya mambo ya affordable housing kwa sababu tunataka kubadilisha sura ya kila mji katika taifa letu la Kenya na tutengeneze taifa ambayo sisi wote tutajivunia kuita ndio kwetu nyumbani. Tumekubaliana jameni? Vile vile wakati tunapanga hii kazi tunapanga sio kwa sababu tunahitaji manyumba peke yake tunapanga bile bile kwa sababu inatupatia nafasi ya ajira nimesema katika hii mpango hapa si ni kweli katika hii mpango hapa tutakuwa na nafasi ya ajira ya vijana elfu mbili na tano katika hii mpango najua nyinyi mumeniambia ya kwamba mnataka ile kazi ya kazi mtaani Munisigize sigizeni mambo ya kazi mtaani ni mambo mambo zamani ile kazi mtaani ya kuokota takataka na nini na nini hapana tuachane na hiyo sasa kazi itakuwa hii nyinyi mnanielewa hiyo kazi hiyo hiyo sigizeni hiyo kazi ya mtaani Hakuna kazi ya mtaani tena. Kazi ni hii ya kujenga manyumba hii. Na nimemwambia <laughs> nimemwambia huyu Mungwana wale watu wa kwanza ambao wataajiriwa katika kazi hii ni watu wa hapa Langata na watu wa Kibra ni watakuwa wa kwanza. Jambo la pili. Mlikuwa mnaajiriwa watu tano kwa kila ward, si namna hiyo? Watu tano kwa ward ambaye ilikuwa watu 2500 sio 2500 ndio watasaidia kujenga hii nyumba na tukianzisha ile eh, Soweto B, Soweto C tutakuwa na watu wengine 2500 na 
na tukianzisha ile Soweto D si tutakuwa na wengine 2500 sasa ile mlikuwa mnaniuliza kazi si ndio hiyo <laughs> Bile bile. <coughs> na sio na sio hapa peke yake. Tutaanzisha tutaanzisha ujenzi wa manyumba katika kila constituency hapa Nairobi. Pale pale makongeni. Pale makongeni mahali tunajenga nyumba karibu 1025. Tutahitaji vijana zaidi ya 1020 watusaidie kwa hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo tutapanga nafasi ya ajira ya kutosha bila ya kutumia vijana wendu kuenda kuokota takataka. Kazi ya kuokota takataka ni ya governor Sakaja. Aokote takataka, apeleke kule kwa mambo mahali yanapelekwa takataka. Si ni kweli? Ndio. Haya. Vile 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 tumekubaliana vile tumekubaliana mambo yote haya lazima tuyapange kwa mpango vile tunafanya kazi hii ya mambo ya kujenga manyumba mimi vile vile naelewa ya kwamba muko na shida ya ajira na ndio nimesema mambo ya ajira tutapanga ndani ya affordable housing na vile mmesikia hapa kuna vijana wengi ambao wamesema wanataka pia wajumuishwe katika sehemu zingine za kutafuta ajira. Hapa leo mmesikia huyu jamaa amesimama hapa anaitwa bwana Mulwa. Huyu bwana Mulwa hapo. Nilifanya mkutano na wao jana. Na tumezungumza pamoja na wao na wamekubali ya kwamba wataungana na sisi kama serikali ili kuweka pesa ya kutosha katika affordable housing na katika mambo ya infrastructure. Hawa jamaa wametuambia ya kwamba watatupatia shilingi bilioni tano mwaka huu in the first year. Alafu mwaka ujao tutapanga na wao watu ongezee ingine bilioni tano ili tuwe na pesa ya kutosha ya kujenga manyumba kwa kila mkenya aweze kupata mahali pa kuishi pazuri na tuweze kujenga taifa letu na vile vile hiyo bilioni tano wanatupatia watatusaidia pia katika kujenga ile industrial park mahali ya agro processing mahali ya value addition mahali ya manufacturing tuta invest katika infrastructure na tumekubaliana tunaanza katika industrial park ama industrial city ya Naivasha tunaweka industrial city ingine Dongokundu na hapa eh, hapa Mlolong at the river pia tuko na infrastructure development ambayo tutasaidiana pamoja na hawa tumekubaliana jambo la tatu lazima tupunguze gharama ya maisha si ni kweli na mimi niliwaambia ya kwamba lazima tuteremushe bei ya unga ikuje chini <laughs> na hiyo safari hiyo safari ya kupunguza gharama ya unga na gharama ya maisha tayari nimeianzisha tayari tumepopatia wakulima wetu mbolea magunia milioni moja na nusu na tunawapatia ingine magunia milioni sita wazalishe chakula ndio chakula ifike hapa ikiwa bei nafuu na bei ya unga tuanze kuiteremusha mimi nataka niwaambie hivi wale walioharibu hii mambo ya unga mpaka ikafika shilingi milio, eh, shilingi 2000 shilingi 230 na walikoroga hiyo mambo kwa miaka ine si ndio si waliharibu kwa miaka ine Munipatie tu mwaka mmoja peke yake nitakuwa nimenyorosha. Sina namna hiyo. So Mosmos. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Tuko pamoja. Mwisho. Mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi. Huyu mama Shiro chairman wa hapa Kanan. Amesema ya kwamba 
alikuwa anipendi sana na kwa sababu umenipenda hata mimi nakupenda sana ndio na ni kwa sababu sisi wote tunakubaliana tumemaliza mambo ya siasa jameni si ndio na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hakuna mwananchi wa upinzani na hakuna mwananchi wa serikali sisi wote ni wananchi wa taifa moja taifa la Kenya ile ilifanyika katika uchaguzi mlitugawia kazi mukasema wengine waendeshe serikali wengine wakuwe walimu wa kusaisha waende upinzani na sisi wote tunafanya kazi moja kazi ya wananchi si ni kweli kwa hivyo tutashirikiana tutafanya kazi pamoja ili tuweze kutimiza malengo ya wakenya wakenya wote wanataka chakula ipatikane kwa bei nafuu wanataka watoto wao wasome wanataka waishi mahali pazuri wanataka barabara zikuweko na ya muhimu zaidi wawe na maji nyumbani tayari tuko na mipango mitatu ya kuongeza maji hapa Nairobi tayari nimeamuru watu wa Adhi water ile mpango ya Northern Collector Tunnel tuweze kukamilisha kabla ya December ndio maji karibu 140,000 liters every day be available 140 million, 140 million liters iwe available in Nairobi which is 140,000 cubic meters tunaelewana mpango ya pili tayari nimeongeza pesa katika dam ya Karemenu ambayo itatusaidia kuongeza maji Nairobi na namba three, nime eh, nimekamilisha ile mpango tulikuwa nayo katika dam inaitwa Ruiru 2 ambayo pia italeta maji hapa Nairobi na jana tumekubaliana na waegezaji tutatengeneza dam ingine inaitwa um, Maragwa Maragwa 4 na Ndarugu ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba kila mwananchi wa Nairobi na kila mwananchi wa county ambazo za metropolitan hapa Nairobi wanapata maji ya kutosha These are commitments I am making because we have a plan to deliver on uh, these commitments. Tumekubaliana watu wa Langata? Tumekubaliana watu wa Kanairo? Eh? Ya mwisho. Ya mwisho. Hii mambo ingine yote mimi nitafanya na hawa viongozi wenzangu. Lakini kuna ile lazima hata na nyinyi mufanye. Si ndio? Si ndio? <laughs> mimi nataka niwaulize kwa unyenyekevu na mimi nawauliza nyinyi na wakenya wengine wote. Vile tutaweza kudeliver, vile tutaweza kuhakikisha kwamba tunatimiza, tuwe na barabara, tuwe na maji, tuwe na stima, tujenge hii eh, manyumba yenu, kila mmoja wetu lazima alipe ushuru. Kila mtu lazima alipe ushuru. Sindio? Kila mtu alipe tax. Tumekubaliana? Mambo ya kulipa ushuru is not negotiable. Hatuwezi kuwa na mjadala ya kulipa ushuru. Na kila mtu tukianza na sisi ambao ni watu wakubwa lazima tulipe ushuru. Kama mama mboga anangangana mpaka analipa shilingi ya msini kwa kanjo, mbona sisi wengine tusilipe ushuru ya Kenya jamani? Unaelewana? Mimi nakubaliana na shi, eh, mama Shiro. Kil, sisi wote mtakubali tulipe ushuru kila mtu jameni. Eh? Munisaidie. Na mtu akikuja akuambie atitukate kona ndio tusilipe ushuru, mwambie hapana. Wewe unataka kuharibu ili nyumba ile inajengwa pale Kibera nikose ama barabara ikose. Kila mmoja wetu awe ni jeshi na shujaa ya kuhakikisha kwamba kila mkenya analipa ushuru tafadhali na waomba mahali unafanya kazi kama unafanya kazi mahali fulani na unaona yule mwenye hiyo kazi anakata kulipa mama anakwepa kulipa ushuru wewe tuambie kwa sababu huyo anataka kuharibu maisha yako kwa sababu mtu asipolipa ushuru anaweka hiyo pesa kwa mfuko yake anatuletea hasara kama taifa la Kenya na ndio mimi nakubaliana na mama huyu mama Shiro. Mama Shiro ameomba mambo ngapi? Mbili. 
amesema ya kwanza tunataka utuondolee ushuru ya mambo ya stamp duty na hiyo nimekubaliana na yeye kwa sababu hii tumesema kama serikali kama wewe unanunua nyumba yako ya kwanza first home owner hatuwezi kukulipisha ushuru tutaondoa mambo ya stamp duty so mama shiro mambo ya stamp duty tutaondoa sawa lakini hata wewe sasa ukubali Tuk... <laughs> Tuk... tukiondoa tukiondoa ushuru ya stamp duty ile ya rates wewe ulipe kwa sababu usipolipa rates tutatoa wapi maji jameni na barabara tutajenga na nini na stima tutaweka namna gani na huyu mtu atawakota takataka namna gani huyu mtu wetu sakaja ila sima <laughs> ama mnataka kuishi kwa mji yenye imejaa takataka ndio so na waomba wale wote we understand we have to balance issues and i agree with mama shiro that we can bend over sometimes but i want to also ask each and every kenyan wherever they are that we must all pay our taxes it is the only guarantee that we have for the independence of our country tusipolipa ushuru tutakuwa watumwa wa wale wanatukopesha pesa na nobody wants to be a slave of anybody mnataka tuwe watumwa mnataka tuwe slaves ya watu wengine hapana so the only way we can remain independent as a country is to make sure that we pay our taxes we take charge of our development and we are not slaves to those who lend money to us mimi nawauliza kwa unyenyekevu hii kazi zingine tutafanya munisaidie kila mtu alipe ushuru kila kazi ilip, ili, eh, mahali nalipa ushuru ilipwe ndio tuweze kujenga Kenya pamoja tumekubaliana tarehe moja Disemba hasla fund ina, inaanza so na sasa nyinyi mujipange na biashara si kila mtu anajua bila kufanya biashara yake tunaelewana so mimi nimefurahi sana nimefika hapa Langata nimefika hapa Kibera si tumegawana kazi si mimi nitafanya ingine nyinyi mtafanya ingine na tuko pamoja tutatembea pamoja tumekubaliana nataka niseme asanteni sana mjue na wapenda sana na wawatakie baraka ya Mungu asanteni sana thank you